kept saying, God, you can go He sang back to me. He said, I'm about to do it. I spent $157.90, but I've never had such high hopes and chocolate in my life. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I placed my order on March 14th. Today is March 17th. It took three days and I got standard shipping. I never asked for free products from small businesses, nor do I charge a promo fee for small businesses. I didn't even see her post until I had already paid for my product. It was meant to happen. God makes no mistakes. We not working together, but you never know in the future. I also ordered a hoodie for $40, but they said they was going to ship it separately. So the chocolate itself was really like 110 bucks. This is some of the prettiest packaging I've ever seen. I'm a sucker for packaging. I love a good package. Biscoff bonbons. This package screams luxury money. People have labeled me as a notorious sweet hater. So a lot of people expected me to hate that. And I kind of did myself, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Delicious. That milk chocolate isn't nearly as sweet as 99% of the milk chocolates I've ever had before. I'm a fan and we starting off high. That's an 8.5 out of 10. Again, for chocolate, I didn't think I was going to get that hot. 8.5 is crazy. Thai pecan caramel bonbons. I love when you can tell something took time to make. We not working together. I can see us working together in the future. I'm telling you, I'm about to eat this whole box. This is probably going to be my favorite one. I love when sweets are balanced. It's salty, it's nutty. That chocolate got the perfect snap on it. 9.5 out of 10. Again, that's crazy high. Blood orange bonbons. Now, this is the one that made me want to order. I love blood orange. What? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. The only reason I like the texture is because the chocolate is so snappy. Like, this chocolate damn near crunchy. If it wasn't for this chocolate being perfectly set like this, I would not like this texture. But this is amazing. I can see a lot of people having a love-hate relationship with that because the orange is very strong. For real, it's extremely strong. But me personally, on the spectrum of hate it and love it, I'm over here. 9.2 out of 10. <laughs> Come on, something. Y'all wild. Dark chocolate bonbons. Surprisingly, the dark chocolate just is sweet, if not sweeter than the milk chocolate. But the quality is still so high. I'm going to get at an 8 out of 10. The blue and gold milk chocolate bar. Just to let you know how high quality this is, I've been holding chocolate this whole time. There's no chocolate on my hands. Like, this is not melted. You hold Hershey's for two seconds, and you a chocolate-covered gummy bear. Now, that is great chocolate, but that's the only one where I don't fully agree with the price. That's $15. At the end of the day, it's just a chocolate bar. So $15 is crazy. So on taste, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. But if I'm rating it on a scale of is it worth it, I'm giving it like a 3. But the bonbons, on the other hand, I'm easily paying $15 for. And I wouldn't even think twice about it. Last but not least, the black and gold dark chocolate bar. Good and simple. But that's a solid dark chocolate bar. They dark chocolate is sweeter than they milk chocolate, in my opinion. I get that an 8 out of 10. Overall, I'm taking all these bonbons with me. This is one of the most satisfied purchases I've made in a long time. Shout out to Asante. Y'all doing the thing. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. She was supposed to be going to get a checkup at the dentist. Stop. I'm telling them first on mine. So don't. Okay. Turn around. And she got She's supposed to have a bun. No, come here. Come here. Let me see. Let me see. Come here. Come here. Smile. What? So. No, smile for real. So you can already see it. Smile. Okay, okay. I won't post it. I won't post it. Smile. Well, I'm going to post it, but I'll, I'll wait till you post yours. Smile, bro. What? Don't do me, though. <laughs> hey, my name is Keith. Tonight we're making peach cobbler pumpkin cinnamon rolls. I got these peaches from Costco's. I've never seen this big of a pack. It was four and I think that was like 16 bucks. So it comes out to about $4 a jar, which is really good because these peaches slapped. Well, apparently they didn't slap enough because she threw it right back in the jar. But yeah, I just took some pumpkin rolls that I had in my fridge from Trader Joe's. I put peaches and butter on top and then threw them in the oven for like 20 minutes. It came with this pumpkin icing that I drizzled over the top. And when I tell you this was the best fall, uh, like dessert or whatever you want to call it, I've had in years. This took me back to like kindergarten, elementary, 
where it was like real holidays. Cause you know, holidays don't hit the same as an adult. But like, this was like kid holiday kind of, it was delicious. I put ice cream that I got from Chick-fil-A and then I put some cinnamon. You can use any ice cream, but this was a 10 out of 10. God bless you, have an amazing day. But wait, did I introduce myself? I'm driving around today and the grass look real green. The trees look real vibrant. If I could time travel and I can go and talk to 17 year old Keith in the backyard on Joy Road of Evergreen with a bunch of neckties that he tying against the garage that his dad built to end it. I would I would tell him, you got it. You're stronger than you will ever realize. You mean more to a lot of people than you will ever know. You mean more to yourself now than you did then. If I could go and talk to 20-year-old Keith or 19-year-old Keith that's standing in the garage and making videos for Instagram with aspirations to be an Instagram comedian, I would tell them, keep going. Those dreams that you're dreaming aren't crazy. Those dreams that you're dreaming aren't as delusional as they seem at the moment. If I could go and talk to 21-year-old Keith that's doing Postmates and going to these big, huge houses and knowing that you will be in one of those houses one day, I would go and tell them, you're right. You're right. Nothing, nothing that you're thinking right now is crazy. If I can go back to 20-year-old Keith whose car got stolen, I would tell him, don't worry about it. You got it. You got it. That car is going to be a, a figment of your imagination one day. If I could tell a 20-year-old Keith that's sitting in the bathroom after his car got stolen with his now wife and mother of children, I would tell both of them, thank you. Thank you for being strong. And I know in a few years, I'm going to want to time travel back to this very moment and tell myself now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for believing. Thank you for trusting. Thank you for listening. Obedience is the biggest thing I've had in this journey. Obedience. I've listened. God is amazing. And even if I can never time travel and I'm talking to the person that's watching this video, you got it. He got you. He got me. He got us. We got it. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Hey mama, don't worry, you raised a gangster. I'm a survivor. It hurt me not being able to give what you want since I was a toddler. My conclusion after all of this is not the service, it's not the product. I genuinely think it's because nobody knows about it. And I pray that after this video, that changes. Really quick story time while I eat this oxtail that was made by my brother. It's an eight and a half, by the way. It's really good. About two weeks ago, I was scrolling my For You page and I saw this video about this lady who owned a family owned Hawaiian shop who sells snacks and candies. She was expressing how difficult times was at the moment because they wasn't getting a lot of sales. So she was asking people to go shop with her. I did that. I made a video about it. And less than 24 hours later, she got 1,300 plus orders, which resulted in an estimate of $65,000 worth of sales in less than 24 hours. And before you tag me in a video telling them that they should pay me, I don't want their money. I want the corporation's money. I want the big company's money who have a marketing budget set to the side. The money that I help small businesses earn is theirs, not mine. I only want what's mine, nothing less, nothing more. I always want to thank y'all for y'all continued support and thank God for putting me in position to be a vessel. We are changing one small business at a time. God bless you guys. Y'all have an amazing day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I gotta step over this time and then walk out the door. It's not my normal exit, but. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. What's that? It's a chicken salad. From where? 81st Deli. What's on it? Superior. How much has candy changed since the 1940s? I got candy from every generation, starting from the 1940s to the 1990s. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. This is episode five, and inside this bag is a bunch of candy that claim a kid in the 1980s would've ate. Let's try it and rate it one through 10 at the end. Original Skittles. This whole series is blowing my mind. This came in the 80s? That's crazy. Classic. Kyle Tales Original. This looks so nostalgic to me, but I don't remember trying it. I see why. I see why. I hate that texture. You know that little rubber thing you put around pens or like mechanical pencils? Fill it with some custard, put some powdered sugar on it, and you got a cocktail. That's terrible. Chocolate and vanilla ice cream lollipop? Now, I ain't never seen this before. Chocolate and vanilla swirl with cookie crunch, please? <laughs> that was corny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
forgive me, Airhead Mystery Flavor. Why did I think this came out like 2010 or something? Now that's a Mandela effect for you. I vividly remember this coming out like when I was in high school. I don't know what flavor that is, but it's trash. I always thought it was like pina colada souffle or something like that. Blue Raspberry Laffy Taffy. These have made appearances in the past episodes, just in different flavors. Classic. A Singular Sour Patch Kid. They are sour though. I'm getting old, I can't eat sour no more. That used to be the perfect movie theater snack. Speaking of sour, Cry Babies. For the sake of the series, I'ma try it, but Lord knows I don't need nothing sour. Shit. I'm gonna bite it, I'm gonna bite it. Shit, it bit me. Uh-huh, it bit me. Double Bubble 25 Cent Assorted Gum. These made an appearance in episode one, Rain Blows. I would have survived as a kid in the 1980s. That was pretty classic candy that we still got to this day. The only thing is, it's a bunch of sour and I can't do sour. So for that, I gotta give it a five out of 10. Make sure you come back tomorrow because we are gonna be trying the candies from the 1990s. God bless you. Wingstop got three new flavors, so you know what that mean. I got three new flavors. Let's try them and rank them one to three. First up is the Meltdown. This is a Cajun Garlic Parmesan Wing. And it's mandatory, everything get ranch. Garlic Parmesan Cajun Wing sounds crazy. That's exactly what I expected. First you get the saltiness and the savoriness from the garlic Parmesan. Then you get the spiciness from the Cajun. Mm-hmm. For now, that go to two. Crush time, this is a blend of hot honey rub and lemon pepper. Yeah, absolutely. That is so complex. It's every flavor you can think of. Spicy, salty, sour, sweet. It is a lot, but for me it worked. One, easy. Pure mayhem. This is a wing with fry seasoning. I've been going to Wingstop for years and I never thought to put fry seasoning on a wing. I'm about to see if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What? Hey, wait, hold on. I gotta do that justice. I ain't never had nothing that tastes remotely close to that. What? That's arguably the most unique wing I've ever had. I don't know, I can't put my finger on it. It's subtle, but it's still a lot of flavor. But it tastes like a wing, but a fry. Some way, somehow, I like that better than the Meltdown. That goes two, the Meltdown goes three, and I mean the winner is the crunch time. God bless you, have an amazing day. I'm headed back to Wingstop to get more because I don't even know what I just ate. <laughs> You just came and sat at your table. You hungry? Is good, mama? Yeah. Hey, my name is Keith. I got two double cheeseburgers, one from In-N-Out for $4.60 and one from Five Guys for $16.68. I'm going to try both of them and I'm going to see if I can taste the difference between the two because as you can see, I can't. And just to make sure I'm not cheating, I'm going to move the burgers around. Very... Spontaneous motions. I have no idea which burger is which. I'm gonna even switch hands so I confuse myself even more. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm switching. Put my hand behind my back. I'm gonna move this one over and do one of these. So I have no idea which is which. I have no idea which one is which. I'm gonna try both of them and rate them one through 10. I'm gonna start with this one on the right. That meat was really fresh. Um, cheese is a little like gluey. I like gluey cheese though, like processed cheese. Um, the bread was soft too. I wanna be fair and give it a seven and a half out of 10. And my guess is that that's from Five Guys. Yeah, that's from Five Guys. Okay, try the one on the right or left. Oh, this one denser, real dense. Mmm. 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 I was a hundred percent. I was a hundred percent wrong. That's definitely five guys. That's in and out. That's a six out of ten. And the reason being, it's really soft. Like I don't know if you can see me biting it. It was really soft. Like the meat was soft. The cheese was too soft. 
it was like I don't I don't even know how to explain that, but it was like mushy almost. Uh and it was real greasy. I think that's what made it mushy because it was so much grease in this one. This one's way better. And I was right. This is in and out. This is way better. Not worth sixteen dollars. Tomorrow was Ronnie's birthday. She turned twenty seven. I met her when she was nineteen. That's crazy. <laughs> So I'm all getting stuff for her birthday. I already blocked her so she can't see this because it's a surprise. I really wanted to surprise her with like an impromptu trip to Disney World because we both been real busy. So we haven't been able to plan much because we don't know what we doing tomorrow. <laughs> so I was going to do an impromptu trip. But right now they only got flights that got eight hour layovers. Who about to sit somewhere for eight hours with two babies? <laughs> that ain't happening. So plan B is to go to Marc Jacobs, the only designer bag that she ever wear or designer anything. We don't, we not designer people. Like the tote bags, that's her thing. So I'm going to go get her a tote bag. And we got something real big coming up at home. So we've been moving around a lot, doing a bunch of stuff. She lost something really important to her in the middle of doing all of that. So I'm going to go replace that. Yeah, I'm going to just bring y'all with me. We just going to move around. Oh, yeah. If you're watching this, go tell her happy birthday. She tagged in the caption. That's my dog. That's my dog. Oh, yeah. I want to take her to dinner at this place called Blackout. It's basically like you eat in the dark and you got to use your senses because you can't see what the food is. And it's like a full menu that they already have curated. What's the word? Curated. You really don't know what you're eating until you eat it and you like fully in a black pitched out room. I think it's dope. I've been wanting to go for a while. I think she'll love it. This is her favorite store. We came here last time and she was looking at everything. But now we blessed enough to be in a position to where I can actually get her what she want. God is amazing. So I'm gonna do these three. The bucket. This is the first one she looked at last time she came in. And then this is the rose. They said it's a limited time. Girl, we ain't never had nothing limited edition. You know, okay. The gray, uh, I love this color. I was gonna do just one set that's all the same color, but she ain't gonna wear it at the same time. So that way it can be versatile. She can wear one bag or one day, another bag. Yeah, that's at least how my mind working. I ain't used to being in those designer stores. I don't do the designer, but <laughs> she's spoiled. Whatever she wants, she gets. I don't really spend money on that else, but her, my kids, and food. <laughs> oh yeah, that's crazy. You can tell I don't shop in no designer stores. I still got my brother's hoodies on. Like, this is my brother actual clothing line. Nikes and then New Balances. These are the most comfortable shoes I got though. Out of all of the shoes I got, easily the most comfortable. The ring I originally proposed with was under $1,000. Now I'm blessed enough to upgrade it. Boy, that feel good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Then I got lunch from her favorite place, hot dog on a stick, two corn dogs and a frozen lemonade, a large. I've become friends with Joe Fresh Goods over the last couple of weeks over at New Balance. He's super dope. When I say super dope, I mean super dope. He sent me some shoes and I'm whispering because she might be able to hear me. He gonna send the exact same pair that he sent me to her for her birthday. They get here tomorrow, but let me show y'all the ones that I got. These, Joe the man, I'm telling you. I already told him thank you a thousand times, but again, thank you. These is crazy. Look. These is crazy. It's a bunch of them, so I ain't gonna show all of them, but I'll show one more, like my favorite. She already know I got these, but she has no idea they're coming for her. Look. These my favorite. He's so hard. He's so hard. Joe the man. I just made it back home. She was being nosy, so she saw all her gifts. But the good news is she loved them. So I think she's going to have a good birthday. Now I can unblock you and you can see this. So happy birthday. I love you. Thank you for making me a father, a husband. I'm forever appreciative of everything you do. I love you. Happy birthday. God bless you guys. Happy birthday. Quick story time involving myself and Dime Galore. What I learned about getting into fights is how to be better prepared for the next one. So I got a lot of tips for y'all next time. Y'all kind of... I duetted that video you saw about a year ago. It was a very funny video and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoy a lot of her content. Fast forward to yesterday, she reached out to me and she said, Hey, I have a business and we have a Black Friday sale. I would love for you to rate one of my commercials 1 through 10. 10 being you will buy it right now. 1 being you will never buy it. So guess what we about to do? We already off to a good start. I love Glory. Creativity. Come when you sleep, your is <laughs> she about to flow. I already Jump know. Scar, your heart is everywhere. Uh, That's why you wake up ugly. For your body, bitch. You would think you went to sleep with fucking cats. Oh, I knew it. Right at Don't stop looking at that fucking crack. Why you look confused? You surprised this match in it. But they look like that. That looks very high quality. And it come with a scrunchie. I All in one bag. Very informational. They got after pay. 
40 percent off and kids that was very informational and catchy very catchy she said i was gonna be broke dusty and ugly if i don't go get that for some reason i believe her i don't know if it was the song the lyrics the relatableness but i need it i need it 9.8 out of 10 i'm going right now 40 percent off is crazy I don't even know how much it costs regularly, but 40% off of anything is usually a lot. I keep Lee on the pull up. I'm going to keep it real with you. I want you to keep it real with me. I listened to y'all. I went to Cuts and Slices. The owner was super dope. He recognized who I was after me standing in line for like 30 minutes. My whole trip to New York, I was working with somebody, and I had to get this video approved. After everybody in front of me and behind me, including me. I have no idea what any of this is. Uh, I just told him to grab me a bunch of stuff, but he didn't put no labels on it. So I'm assuming this is oxtail. This is, I have no idea, like a cheeseburger. That, look, that looks like ketchup. Uh, more oxtail. I think that's the teriyaki oxtail. Um, bacon and ranch chicken pizza, I'm assuming. I have no idea what that is. That looks like a red onion barbecue oxtail, maybe. I literally just told him to grab whatever is good. Oxtail. Oxtail pizza is crazy. For full transparency, he gave me a slice to eat while I was there. That's like a 9.7. Oh my gosh. I swear to God. And it was delicious. That delicious. The owner of Custom Slices has been updating me almost every day since he posted that video. Y'all been wildin'. All day long. Cause double park. He said yesterday alone, 73 families or people showed up because of me. <laughs> God bless you guys. That's nuts. That'd be blowing my mind. The meat is tender, it's juicy, it's flavorful. That's like a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I don't know which one this is. It's, again, I think it's like hamburger or something. Hmm. Granted, all of these would be a lot better if they were warmed up, but I'm literally in a car headed to the airport because I'm about to leave New York. But as is, that's okay. That's like a five and a half out of 10. I'm not really sure what flavor it is even after trying it. It's the teriyaki oxtail. I see why he had a lime. I absolutely see why he had a lime. Even like that, that's delicious. But that fresh, I can imagine it being crazy. That'd probably be like a 9.5. I have no idea what this is. Is that a donut pizza? Oh, this chicken and waffles, it works. I don't know how it works, but it works. It's like a eight and a half out of 10. A chicken and waffle pizza is good. That's nuts. Again, no idea. I'm not a huge fan of that one. It's like real sweet and spicy at the same time. It's like a five out of 10. That's my least favorite. He gave me three Jamaican patties and cheese slice. I really wish they would have labeled these because it would have made it a lot easier, but I'm just guessing. I don't know what flavor that is, but it's good. I think this might be oxtail. They know how to do some oxtail. That's like a nine out of 10. Another one. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but it's good. That one's spicy. Actually a little too spicy now that I'm chewing it. Oh yeah, yeah, very spicy. That's like a seven out of 10. I think it all might be the same meat. They just got different seasonings on them or different sauces. That one definitely had the least flavor out of all of them. But again, it's not terrible. Six and a half out of 10. I will not be trying to cheese slice because I'm stuffed and I still got to go to the airport. He threw in a bunch of desserts too. But again, we will not be trying those. I'll show you what they look like though. These look way too sweet for me anyway. I don't even know what this is. I really wish he labeled things. It's like some kind of brownie, like Oreo brownie maybe. And then a bunch of cookies. Again, his customer service was through the roof. And the food, I see why there's a line out the door. God bless you guys. You're having amazing.